We traveled from Boston to Oahu, Hawaii for spring break to stay at Alani, a Disney resort and spa in the beautiful little town of Kaolina. We did so many fun things that this resort has to offer and we even met some of our favorite characters. Some of us enjoyed some drinks and some of us did not. We tried some amazing food and had tons of fun with the locals. We ventured off property to take in some history and explore. So join us as we take you to our favorite resort in the whole world, Alani, a Disney resort and spa. Manahune. Going up. Good morning. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. It's gorgeous today. Ashley woke up early and ran down to grab us some seats. Uh, two of our seats that we usually have had were taken, so she went over to the other side. Yeah, and, like uh, the end caps, because we have the stroller, so. Well, you need the end caps, because yeah, uh, strollers need to be time. parked on the end caps of the seats. You can't park them in front or behind seats. Uh, so, gonna go refill our mugs uh, by Ama Ama. And then we're gonna go down to the beach, let Camden burn some energy. Maybe we're gonna go to Secret Beach. We've got a party this afternoon that we're gonna go to. We have dinner at Mina's Fish House. It's a jam-packed day, so um, hopefully you guys stick around and follow along. Okay, boys wanted to go to the grotto hot tub, so here we are. You excited for the hot tub? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See how busy it is. Oh, did you stub your toe? All right, we are headed to the Lazy River, but wanted to take a quick pit stop to the splash pad. Jackson's been a little afraid of coming over here to play, so we're kind of building up his courage by bringing old, him over here for a few minutes each day just to uh, show him it's not scary. Lazy River. Alright, we 
stopped over to Little Ophelia's and Camden got a boba. He got the uh, look at the taro root uh, boba, which is in the potato family. He says it tastes like cookies and cream ice cream. We told them about his uh, peanut trina sesame allergy, and they said we're good to go. So. Alright guys, lunch is served. We got the coconut shrimp again with the sweet chili sauce and then I got a side of the tartar sauce for the french fries which is unbelievable. Kids got the chicken tenders. Um, we're also splitting a pizza so uh, scratch that actually leftover pizza from last night. Yep, thank you. Uh, but yeah, pool is open and we are ready to go. Coconut shrimp is so good. It's definitely one of our favorite things here. All right, I just finished a full resort tour, top to bottom, beginning to end. Parking garage to beach. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, but been a three hour detour. Ashley and the boys have spent all that time at the beach. Paxton has been sleeping in the stroller, which I had with me. Uh, two separate times he woke up. Two separate times I got him back down. So I am heading to the beach to grab our things and uh, head back up to the pool. Yeah. That's not your toy. Yeah, that's not your toy. All right. I've been looking forward to this all afternoon. The hot tub. There's nothing better. Oh, it feels so good. Paxton dragged us over to the secret hot tub. Secret! Say, so this is a secret hot tub. Yeah, I like this secret hot tub. This one's my favorite. Me too. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Rainbow. Rainbow? Over here, Daddy, two rainbow over there. All right, guys, we are at the DVC member celebration. This is at the lawn where the uh, luau usually is. Yep. It is from 7 to 8. Yep. We have dinner reservations at 7.30 at Mina's Fish House, which was rescheduled from yesterday. So it's going to be a quick in and out, and we're excited to go through the line. Guys, I got a new lay. It is Kakoi Nuts, uh, also known as Tiger Shark. Uh, anyone who's watched uh, Joe Exotic, I am all over the uh, tiger, anything. So sign me up. Uh, she did say that this one is more important than the other one. This one is a DVC lay. And for anyone that's been following along that I haven't really explained to, this one is a DVC. Uh, but it, it signifies that you own a uh, contract here. So whenever I wear this lei around the property, everyone that works here tells me welcome home and congratulations. And uh, Paul loves the attention. I do love the attention, I really do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I bring this with me on every trip. I wear it every single day. And every single day, people tell me welcome home. And it makes me feel special. So they have these uh, lays laid out over here. So they can't be that important, right? All right, we are here for the party. We cannot wait. We got the most special bracelet, necklace of all. Glow stick. Kids are excited, ready to have some fun. We have a whole 
DBC cart here. We got some candy, some popcorn, some hats, some coffee mugs, some Mickey ears, some pins, some luggage tags, some wands. You got some lounge flies here. They do it right here. Look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> vacation, Disney Vacation Club. I love these hoodies. Yes, I love it. You might need a double XL. Party is building up. We got a ton of people coming in. So again, anyone that has a garden view, you most likely have one of these rooms here. And this is the garden that you are overlooking, which is the Luau. So if you have uh, a view of the Luau, you don't have to pay to go to the Luau unless you want to eat and do all the activities at the Luau. And then just over that horizon is the ocean. So you technically do get a ocean view. So if you do have a garden island, garden island view, ask for a floor as high as possible. If you're already booked, call ahead. Say, hey, I'm already booked. I want a floor. I mean, look at this tree line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Want to be at least nine stories high. And it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, maybe 18 decks high. Um, so you definitely want to uh, ask for the highest floor possible because you can actually technically get an ocean view. And look how high that goes. I was all the way up top. The, at, you see this it's a corner? I had the corner room uh, for Christmas and New Year's 2022. You guys follow the vlog, you know. But yeah, all right, let's go to the bathroom. Welcome to Members Celebration Under the Stars. Sit down, Who please. here is having the most amazing vacation? Make some noise. Yeah. Yes, that is what I like to hear. Hello again, everybody, and welcome home. Everyone, give a big hand for Heather. Yes. Now, friends, it is that time of the night where you got to get up and get ready to dance. Yeah. So, get on your feet, and we are going to start this dance party.
All right, we just left the DVC party. We had so much fun. And a dance party. Um, they say it starts at 6.30, it really starts at 7, but show up at 6.30 because then you'll, you'll be closer to the stage. Yeah, absolutely. So we are headed to Mina's, which is next door at the Four Seasons. This is long awaited. We've had reservations here multiple times, canceled multiple times, got canceled on us last night because of the rain. Yeah. So we are super excited to actually finally eat there. They even and called us to um, reschedule yesterday. Yeah. Super appreciative. So excited to get, I think it's a Mai Tai in a spam can. Uh, look at this pool. The party is just not stopping. It is 7.30. I never want to leave. Me, me neither. Never want to leave. And everyone is just having a blast. I am so jealous. I've always wanted to be in the pool at like 7.30 p.m. Good love. <sighs> Look at the adults' hot tub. We were here for uh, New Year's in my bathing suit. Just fantastic. Oh, man, I love it here. I don't want to go home. All right, again, Mina's Fish House is right next door at the Four Seasons. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Four Seasons shares the same cove as Alani, and this is typically where they put the NFL Pro Bowlers when the Pro Bowl is in Hawaii. So if there's ever a uh, Pro Bowl in Hawaii, they stay here. dinner menu we have uh, king crab and endive caesar that sounds great white poly farms island greens golden beets and citrus salad spicy seafood tom ka soup i think i'm gonna go with that uh ahi tuna tartare japanese hamachi crudo hawaiian aloha poke ono take tatake uh, blister chishito and sweet mini peppers. That sounds great. Smoked marlin and Maui onion dip. Broiled spinach octopus. Prime beef lettuce cups. Soy glazed pork belly. And then flavors of fish. It is 110 per guest uh, to go through this four course meal. And then shellfish, we have half a main lobster, shrimp, and then if you split it between two people, uh, it's 130. Uh, Pacific oysters and a quarter cream cab, quarter king crab, uh, charbroiled, uh, half a main lobster, shrimp, oysters, and crab. And then we have some champagnes there. Entrees, we got yellowfin tuda, black cod, lobster pot pie, which sounds great. Sesame half chicken, which sounds good, but is allergic to Camden. Camden cannot have that, so I don't want to order it to the table. Uh, double cut carabo pork chop. And then some surf and turp options here. And then sides down at the bottom. I apologize if the menu is waving and it's hard to read, but we have wild mushroom, chard broccolini, uh, lobster whipped potato puree, Chinese long beans, garlic duck fat fries, and spam fried rice. The view is pretty good. We are overlooking the cove and it is all lit up. And we have a pretty big sized table just waiting on a uh, high chair. Guys, I got the infamous drink in a spam can. It is the If Can can. It's a house spirit, orange curacao, lime, pineapple, 
or get served over crushed ice. Uh, this thing is a local classic, so I am excited to dive right in. This drink is strong. Holy smokes. Fifteen years ago, it would have been fantastic. But dad of three that needs to wake up at three, four, five, and six a.m. A little too strong for me. Nice aesthetic look, though. Do appreciate it. Uh, so we did get some bread. Uh, it does typically go with hummus, um, but because of Camden's tahini and sesame allergy. We asked to not get it delivered to the table. Uh, so Ashley and I are just eating the bread as is. Uh, we did get the kids chicken tenders and french fries, which they are splitting three ways, which is more than enough to go around. And uh, Ashley and I will be eating our uh, appetizers as entrees. All right, Ashley got the pog zombie, I think. Yeah, I got the pog zombie. I think it might be my favorite drink that I've had so far this week. It's That's really good. So much she's only had three. And everything I had was like pog. Yeah. But, you like um, it? I like it. And it has like, it's sitting in like crushed ice. All right, I got the duck fat fries with three dipping sauces. And then I got the pork belly, which looks absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to tear into this and polish it off with a drink out of a Spam cup. All right, so I got the Spam fried rice and the garlic shrimp. It doesn't really go together, but um, it's really good. And the kids got the chicken tenders and fries and they were also really, really good. I almost wish I got the chicken tenders. Um, even though it's so like wonderful out here, the kids are cold. Um, so we're probably just going to eat as best as we can and, and call it here. Guys, what a fantastic dinner that was. And you cannot beat these views. Look at this. And you can't really see too much, but this is the Cove at Alani, the beach. And that's the resort right there. Oh, so good. Okay, we are back in the room. Ashley's doing laundry. Kids are ready for bed. All right, guys, we are back at the room, ready to go to bed. The boys passed right out as soon as we walked into the door. Uh, it is 9.30, 9.45. So 3.30, 3.45 uh, East Coast time. So uh, they've about had it. Dinner was fantastic, service was great. Uh, took a little while for us to get seated, but they made up for it at the end. Um, overall, I think dinner was good. So uh, tomorrow is our last full day at Aulani. Uh, we're going to jam pack as much as we can into it. We have special photos to be taken at the end of the day, which we are looking forward to. It is a yearly tradition, something that we did uh, way back when. So uh, super excited for that. So uh, thank you so much for following along. Uh, we appreciate the support. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button at the end. Our boys absolutely love seeing new subscribers and seeing that total go up. So anything you can do would be greatly appreciated. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching and safe travels.